Friends, welcome to our homestead, welcome to our channel. I want you to know that I am not giving up. I will say what I wanna say when I wanna say it in hopes that it benefits everybody out there listening. Now the place or arena in which I say it in might change. And that's because we know censorship is rampant nowadays. And unfortunately, I think that the move to authoritarianism in this country has led a lot of people to become little nanny snitches. And that's always something that holds true in authoritarian regimes in authoritarian countries over time. We used to support each other a lot more in this country and now that's just not happening. And sadly, I see a polarization of two different types of people. And that polarization didn't exist when I was younger. I'm sure of it. I mean, maybe there was a little bit, but we could all come together for the love of our country and agree upon things. And that is just not happening anymore. Stick around for the rest of the video. I'm gonna talk about some important things that impacts all of us, regardless if we are on a platform like this, somewhere else we have some other type of job, anything. And it is time for us to get ready for some really nasty things that are coming down the pipeline. I had to move to the door of the greenhouse. It's getting really warm in there already this morning. It's only about eight o'clock. Okay, first thing, why did I start this YouTube channel? Two reasons. One was to share our experience and our knowledge about homesteading. So sharing our experience from moving out from the city into the country and building a homestead and having that information available from A to Z, from every uh, problem we, we ran into to every triumph and every project that we did. And putting that out there on the internet for people to access for free. It boggles my mind that there's entitled people out there that complain about videos that the information wasn't perfect or the information didn't cover everything that they needed to know because they are watching it for free. To be complaining all the time about terrible information. Now, I know the complaints are a tiny fraction but I want you to know the mentality of people out there. We've got to deal with them all the time and that mentality is getting worse, if you know what I mean. Getting off track a little bit from the two reasons that I started the channel, but those people have started to become the little snitches out there. And what I think happened on the other video that is now on my other channel that rhymes with mumble, and I have to talk in code now, which is ridiculous, but whatever. Rhymes with Mumble, you can go find me over there. It's the same channel name as this. The reason I think that video got taken down was a lot of people pointed out to me that that's, people have the ability to do that. I've never done that on a, on a video before, so I really didn't know it existed, that you could report a video for misinformation. That is just mind-bogglingly horrible, but whatever. It happened, and I think that is what happened, is somebody reported it, whether it's somebody in the med industry uh, that didn't want competition or it's somebody who maybe tried what I suggested and it didn't work in three seconds like a prescribed DRUG from the store. I hate talking to Cope but I don't want this video to get taken down too. This is important information for all of us to know. So those snitches out there, I have flashbacks of what these people are like of watching um, old videos, especially around World War II in uh, Russia, or the USSR, sorry, and Germany, KGB, and the Gestapo, and getting other people to snitch on where certain JEWs are, are hiding, or other people who are against the uh, regime in the USSR. Those people are snitches, they're the lowest of low. God still love us, loves them, all right? I wanna make that clear. He can still save them. Everybody has that opportunity, but they're pretty low. And I think they are attacking my channel for some reason I have no idea. I think over the course of time of me being a YouTube consumer or watching videos since pretty much the beginning, maybe 2009, 2008, somewhere in there, um, I have maybe disliked four videos and maybe made a comment twice over time to say, hey, this video doesn't match up with what 
the thumbnail is or what the title is and you should really change it. Kind words have always come out of my mouth. There is overwhelming support and I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for your supportive comments and your supportive views of the video. But mixed in there, there are some really insane comments. So number two kind of goes along with this. The second reason I really wanted to start a YouTube channel and that was to make money for my family. I started my videos almost 10 years ago. That is a long time and this platform was way different back then. So I don't want to hear from people that you knew. You knew that this was going to happen. Well, no, I didn't. I moved, I quit my career to take care of my family. Too many people cannot understand that. Sometimes it's better to leave one situation where your family is suffering. Change your situation, change your means of income, and it's a whole better situation for your family. Mentally, physically, all of the above. So I don't want you to be scared. I, those people are probably scared to ever change, right? I don't want you to be scared to do that. So when we moved here, we had $50 extra per month. Many of you who've been on the channel for a long time know that and have seen that. We struggled, but it was all about my daughter at the time. I was not going to let anybody else take care of her, and here is why. Two and a half, she came home saying words that are bad, and I did not teach her. So for that reason, I quit my career, which I loved. Now, could I move to a rural area and start that same career up? Not really. If any of you know how the architecture profession works, uh, you know what I'm talking about. You can't just jump out of a big city and be able to start that type of career up instantly and just make the same amount of cash you were making before. It's just not possible. Could I go flip burgers? Absolutely, no problem. I don't have an issue with that. Could I go dig ditches? Absolutely, no problem. I don't have an issue with that. But my daughter was more important. I was not going to let her be put into daycare again and come home saying things that I didn't teach her, learning things that I didn't teach her. Your kids are more important. And for our family dynamic, it worked out the way it worked out. So you can be critical of that, I don't really care. So this is something we all need to think about, right? What is best for our children and how to provide for them. Somebody uh, mentioned in the comments that I should not have put all my eggs in one basket. Okay, I get that. I put all my eggs in the YouTube basket. When I started, it was different. I'm gonna tell you that now, it has changed drastically. They keep changing the rules over time, right? It reminds me of that Star Wars clip where Darth Vader says, pray I don't change it any further. When he's talking to, I think it was Lando, about their agreement. And this is what we need to think of. Any one of us, if we lost our job, has an issue. So the criticism I got for putting all my eggs in one basket on YouTube and relying on an evil company well, it is kind of ridiculous because what if they lost their job? Do they have a second stream of income coming in from themselves? Are they working three jobs where they can just push aside their career if they're in a career? Okay, maybe you're a welder and maybe trailer sales stop and you stop welding trailers. Can a welder go get a job pretty easily somewhere else? Yeah, but if manufacturing really slows down in this country, then what are you gonna do? And I know most of the people making these ridiculous comments are sitting on the couch in their mom's basement. However, some of them are valid in the sense that you can think about it and think that, wow, if we lost our job today, what would I do? Do I have enough savings? Can I go get another job really quickly in the same career if you are hyper-focused in your career and that's what your skills are? Can you go get a job tomorrow to fill in the gap? And anybody can lose their job if they have convictions, right? And they don't wanna work for a company anymore. Or that company sees that they have religious convictions and boots them out, right? Say it's like Target and they're selling the rainbow stuff all over the place. And Target wants to enforce you to wear that at your job and you refuse, then you've now just lost your job. Can you go back to another target? Probably not. You're gonna to have to go somewhere else. So it's good for us to think of earning money in multiple different ways. 
on multiple different platforms maybe. That's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to start a Patreon where I offer you guys maybe a little extra. That's been hard for me to produce because of all the work here. Here's another example. Economic Ninja was covering the other day the problem with Subway stores. Now we all know Subway is kind of going down. I haven't eaten there in years. I don't like it. It doesn't taste good. Uh, but they have, I think, 19,000 stores in the United States, which is a ridiculous amount. And they are in rapid, rapid decline. So what if you put all your eggs in one basket and are a Subway franchise owner and a company goes under? So can you keep your independent location open? Maybe, but you're not going to have the supply chain anymore. You're not going to have the same food that is delivered unless you make some crazy deal for one store with the suppliers and that's probably not going to happen. So oops, are those same detractors on my other video telling me I put all my eggs in one basket? Are you going to go tell a Subway franchise owner the same thing? Are you going to go tell the welder the same thing? Well, you should have known. You should have known. You should have put all your, shouldn't have put all your eggs in one basket welding trailers for one company. What's wrong with you? The mentality of certain people out there, they don't think beyond their own little box that's surrounding their head. And um, yeah, I just want to address that. I want you to know they're out there and thinking that way. I don't think it's a majority of people, but hey, I, you never know. So friends, I'll take that criticism with no problem. I'll start to diversify the things. I was selling strawberry plants here on the homestead a few years ago. If some of you bought them, thank you very much. I also did design these t-shirts and they've always been linked below the videos, but hardly any of them have sold. I don't know, you tell me, is this a terrible design? Should I redesign it? There are other things I'm working towards doing here also. I want to be a market gardener. I've been to classes about market gardening before, but it's about getting your soil correct so that you can grow vegetables that aren't devastated, like the eggplant behind me and the tomatoes, devastated by disease and bugs. You gotta get your soil correct if you don't want to spray them heavily with chemicals, of course. Something I haven't done really well is building community. And I really don't know how to do that any better than talking to you here. So if you have suggestions about building community, that's great. You know, I mean, maybe it's other platforms, yes. I mean, I haven't been to any homesteading conferences like Doug and Stacy go to or, um, you know, Patera. I haven't done that yet. Maybe I will. I don't know. Maybe it's building that community on forums, which is cool. I'm all for that. But even, you know, I get messages on Facebook and Instagram, uh, but I don't answer them for like a week or more because I'm so busy around here. The A number one thing I do on this homestead is homeschool my kids. So if you have any ideas of how to build our community better, you let me know and I will try to give myself to those as well. I'm still gonna speak my mind. I'm still gonna put videos up here, but I'm gonna put videos that now I think maybe are controversial over on the other platform that I mentioned. And let's all look out for those little snitches all over the place. And one of the biggest things you can do to support the channel is watch. Sometimes, if I'm not interested in a video, but it's a friend of mine who has a channel, I'll put that video on, I'll put it on mute, I'll open up a different tab and do different work, and I'll let that video run all the way through. What that does is charge up the algorithm to say, hey, somebody's interested in this video, the entire thing. But if you like, comment, subscribe, watch more of the video, go back and watch older videos that I have done. That tells the algorithm on YouTube, hey, they're interested, push out more videos to more people. And that's what happened with that video the other day, where many of you have come in and subscribed to the channel. A lot of people initially commented on that video and the AI pushed it out, the algorithm pushed it out. I have so many topics that I cover here on the channel. I have over 600 hundred videos, I think close to 650. That's a lot of work. And it's been going on for almost 10 years, like I said. So if there's a subject you're looking for, I probably have covered it. So go back and look. I get certain questions on solar videos and I'm happy to answer them. But what I do is direct them back to a video that I've already done that covers that exact same thing. I have playlists set up, uh, tons of playlists, solar, chickens, gardening, orchard, all of it. Go and check those out. Okay, enough rambling. Have a beautiful, blessed day, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.